At the Rowland, good afternoon. The governor said this is an order, not a request. Stay in your homes or things here in Michigan will only get worse. Without aggressive additional measures, more people will get sick, more people will die, and our economy will suffer longer. On day 13 of the state's battle to contain the coronavirus, Governor Gretchen Whitmer ordered the most dramatic measures to date, a three-week shutdown of most businesses in Michigan. What we know is that there still are gatherings happening, that there still are people that are um, out and about conducting their lives as though we are not living in the midst of a global epidemic. In less than seven hours, non-essential business in Michigan is closed until April 13th. Residents can only leave their homes for what the state considers essential, like outdoor activities, going to the pharmacy or the grocery store, the gas station, getting takeout from a restaurant, leaving to care for a family member, friend or pet, and attending legal proceedings. Dramatic measures like these are necessary, Whitmer said, because we need to buy time. We're running out of ventilators and hospital masks and aren't getting much help from the federal government. Our national stockpile allotment covered one shift at a hospital. So where you would ordinarily, in a crisis like this, expect a national strategy that covers all of the states and all Americans, we got enough for one shift. But some workers are exempt from the order, like those in health care, law enforcement, child care and auto repair, those who work at grocery stores, the news media, and others deemed essential. Yeah, I, I think it was the appropriate next step in response to the, the current situation. Dr. Josh Petrie is an assistant research professor at U of M's School of Public Health and is an expert in pandemics. I asked him, what are the odds that three weeks from now we see that the state lockdown is actually paying off? I think that is probably realistic that we should be able to see some sort of effect in terms of maybe slowing of the number of cases, maybe not completely starting the trend downward, but, but a, at least a slowing in the in increase in the number of cases. Now, the governor's order is supposed to expire on April 13th, but she reserves the right to extend it for as long as she deems fit. We're live in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you, Ross. Well, as you might expect, there is strong reaction to the new stay-at-home order. The governor says it will ultimately save lives. And while people seem to understand the need to do this, many fear losing their livelihoods. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel has that part of the story. Even before this morning's press conference, there was a drumbeat for Governor Whitmer to pull the trigger on this move to prevent the spread of coronavirus. But also many hoping she'd show restraint, knowing how difficult the decision will be for people's bottom lines. That divide still exists after the stay home order. We are highlighting comments on social media instead of talking to people in person to limit our potential exposure. On Twitter, against the move, one user tweeting, she will cripple our state, bankrupt millions, and create mass chaos. On Facebook, a more economic concern. Three weeks stuck at home. Last time I checked, I had bills to pay. How do I pay my bills if I'm not allowed to work? Unemployment will help with maybe one bill and food, but that's it. What am I supposed to do? Businesses are reacting too. Small Business Association of Michigan President and former Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly. We have to trust that the, the governor has more information than we have to make the decisions that are necessary to stop the spread of the disease and, and, and also understand the consequences to our healthcare system if we don't. Callie says his association was in talks with Whitmer's office over the weekend and were able to negotiate supplier exemptions, but he's not sugarcoating what the order means for Michigan's economy. This is going to be an extraordinarily difficult time for small business. Unfortunately, we know that many are not going to make it. And we have received multiple requests for clarifications on what this order means for various jobs. And Kelly tells us that he has to It'll all have to be sorted out and hopefully his association can help keep some small businesses afloat. In Livonia for 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel. All right, Brian, thank you.